Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on calculating the probability of an outcome using a specific value of an independent variable in logistic regression. In this example, I'll be using a binary logistic regression in SPSS. As always, if you find this video useful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I certainly appreciate it. I have here in the data editor an SPSS fictitious data I'll be using for this example. And I'll be using an independent variable named age, and age is continuous, and a dependent variable named outcome one. And this dependent variable is categorical, and more specifically dichotomous. So it either is pass or fail. Pass is coded as one, and fail is coded as zero. I have this outcome two variable as well that I'll be using to demonstrate one specific characteristic of logistic regression and it is the same data in terms of value labels but has different coding behind it. So it has zero for pass and one for fail. So the outcome is the same in terms of the string that's returned different coding behind it. So let's assume in this example that outcome one the pass-fail variable is an outcome based on a counseling skills assessment. So this counseling skills assessment is given to participants and it can either have a pass result or a fail result. Just two possible results. And for this particular counseling skill we have some reason to believe that age can be used as a predictor variable. Meaning if we know the age of a participant we can get a better idea of their probability of passing or failing. So these data would be configured ideally for a binary logistic regression. We have an independent variable, in this case continuous, and one dichotomous dependent variable. So I'm going to conduct the binary logistic regression, SPSS, by going to Analyze, Regression, Binary Logistic, and then from this dialog, I'm going to use outcome one and then age as a covariate. So outcome one up here in the dependent text box and age down here in the covariates list box. In this example, I'm not going to use any of the buttons here to the right. I'm just going to click OK. And here in the output, the table that I'm most interested in is going to be this variables in the equation. And in this example I'm going to calculate the probability of being a member of the pass level of the dependent variable of passing the counseling skills assessment based on a specific age. Notice here in this table that we have odds instead of probability. Odds equals probability divided by 1 minus probability and probability equals odds divided by 1 plus odds. So the two constructs provide similar information however they're in different formats. So here in the logistic regression output as I mentioned we have odds and what this table tells us here if we look to the variables in the equation table we go to age we can see here age and EXP beta 1.125. So this tells us that every year that a participant increases in age, the odds that they'll be a member of the past group are 1.125 times greater. So this EXP beta value is greater than one. So I have another variable loaded on this in the data editor, outcome two. I want to demonstrate this specific characteristic of running logistic regression. If I go into Analyze, Regression, Binary Logistic, and I remove Outcome 1 from the dependent variable text box and move in Outcome 2, again notice that the labels are the same for Outcome 1 and Outcome 2, but the coding is different. I click OK, I move down to that same table, Variables in the Equation, and now I have EXP beta less than 1. It's 0.889.
However, this table is now referring to participants moving from the pass category to the fail category. Unlike the first table, this is 1.125 times greater probability of being the pass category. This table down here for outcome 2 variable is 0.889 times the odds. So it decreases the odds that somebody will be a member of the fail category, which is the same thing as saying that it increases the odds in this other table of being a member of the pass category. The reason I demonstrated both of these ways is because this difference is really just the coding. So going into configuring the variable, you have to know what label 0 and 1 are connected to because it affects how we interpret the table, how we interpret the output. So I'm going to go back to output, go back to the first set of output, outcome 1 variable, where we have this EXP beta of 1.125. So an odds ratio like this is very helpful, and we can use it for a variety of purposes. But what happens if we want to determine the probability that a participant will be a member of the pass category based on a specific age? Well, for that, we have to use the regression equation, and we have to do some other calculations. And we can do those on a calculator. In this example, I'm going to use Excel. So I just have this empty worksheet here, and I'm going to go to this variables in the equation, and control C, copy, move to the empty worksheet, and control V to paste the results in here. So here we have the output from SPSS, paste it into Excel. And I'm going to use the log odds, beta, 0.117 for age, and the constant, beta, negative 5.25. I'm going to use these in a calculation. And that's going to start with the constant. So down here in cell B7, this just be equal sign, and I'm going to select C4. That gives me that value, negative 5.25. And then I want to have the H. So this will be the value of the independent variable. So let's say we want to predict the probability of a participant being a member of the pass category for the age of 50. So I'll type in 50 and then I need the log odds beta for age. So in D7 this will be equal sign and just reference C3. So we have everything we need here to calculate the log odds for the value of the independent variable 50 for the age of 50. So this will be negative 5.25 plus 50 times 0.117. So I'll put that over here. So this will be negative 5.25 plus 50 times 0.117. That gives us 0.62. Now this is log odds, so we need to convert this from log odds to odds. And SPSS uses a natural logarithm, so we need to use an anti-log. So in the case of natural logarithm, the anti-log is the exponential function. So here in F7, so it will be equal sign, EXP, and then 0.62, that gives us 1.86. And we know that probability is equal to odds divided by 1 plus odds. So below this 1.86, I'm going to calculate 1 plus odds. The equal sign, 1 plus odds here in F7, that's 2.86. So then to calculate probability, it'll be odds divided by 1 plus odds. So it'll be equal sign 1.86 divided by 2.86. That gives us a 65% probability that somebody, a participant, age 50, will pass the counseling skills assessment. A 65% chance there. 
And of course, one of the nice features of Excel is we can change the age and it'll produce a new probability. So if we want to see what the probability of passing is for someone who's 30, for a participant who's 30, 30, enter, we see it's 15%. Or if we go to 60, age 60, we see it's 85%. So these calculations allow you to predict the probability for any specified age. I hope you found this video on calculating the probability for a specific value of the independent variable in a logistic regression to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me. I'll be happy to assist you.